Scott Robertson um, is still a thing. Uh, he still exists. It kind of blows my mind. Uh, but he has some thoughts about Donald Trump attempting to uh, reverse the actual results of the general election. Let's hear what he has to say. I think it's all over. I think the Electoral College has spoken. I think the the Biden uh, corruption uh, has not totally been brought to to. Uh, uh, fruition, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the Electoral College. And I don't think the Supreme Court is going to move in to do anything. And I think uh, we're going to see a President Biden. And I also think we'll be seeing a President Kamala Harris not too long after the inauguration of President Biden. With all his talent and the ability of to raise money and draw large crowds, the president still lives in an alternate reality. He really does. People say, well, he lies about this, that, and the other. But no, he isn't lying. To him, that's the truth. Uh, he is very erratic, and he uh, he's fired people, and he's fought people, and he's insulted people, and keeps going down the line. So it's, it's a mixed bag. And I think it, it would be well to say, uh, you've had your day, and uh, it's time to move on. But Wow. Trump when, lives in an alternate reality. When Pat Robertson thinks you're being erratic, you got issues. I mean, these are among, this guy sells miracle shakes. This guy's among the folks who's told you that hurricanes come because of gay people, etc. And he's no, like, you know what? I believe I, I'll buy the miracle shakes. Pat Rob, like, look at him. Holding on for dear life, and you good for him. Maybe there's something in those shakes. Okay, <laughs> maybe maybe I should buy those shakes. I want to live a nice long life. But anyway, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. You know that's okay. But I like the pot shot he took at Biden too. He's like, and as soon after Biden gets inaugurated, Kamala Harris will be president. Like Biden's too old, dude. Have you looked in the mirror in the last 280 years? Okay, <laughs> but but Pat Robertson of all people thinks Trump is erratic and an obvious liar. He's like, well, look to him, it's not a lie because he lives in such an alternate reality, he thinks it's true. He's calling Trump nuts. Now, look, that's obvious to the rest of us. But the reason why we're amazed by this is because even the most right wing, the most evangelical, the most conservative people in the country are now starting to say, yeah, he might be nuts. Trump might be totally deranged. And and uh, Pat Robertson, by the way, also went on to say he should not run again in 2024. Uh, he and that's why it was a he said it would be a mistake and a sideshow if he did that. So those are re that's really heavy language against someone that their base loves. I'd also be kind of curious to see if there's any blowback that he gets out of it. But but even the Definitely. most strident right wingers are now saying, God, you have to stop this madness. We're not, some of us don't actually want to destroy democracy. And some of us actually live on this planet and not the planet that Trump's on. Yeah, man. Yeah, there will be backlash against Pat Robertson for sure. But it also reminds me of like one other thing that he said on his show years ago that was shocking. Um, because as we know, as this uh, you know super religious guy, Pat Robertson um, does not have a good track record on uh, his commentary regarding um, gay people in the country, gay marriage, of course. But do you remember several years ago he decided to comment on um, transgender people, and he was shockingly like logical and kind. Like basically saying like, leave them alone. This is how they identify. I don't remember the exact wording because it was so long ago, but I just remember hearing him say it and thinking, what? Like, I totally agree with you. Where is this coming from? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes he has these moments of clarity that, that blow my mind. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know why, uh, maybe he's getting so old. That he's beginning to think like I made enough money from the shakes. Maybe like once a week I'll say something that's true. Um, yeah. And remember, Robertson had also said that God had made a decision to choose Donald Trump as president again. So I mean, it's not mm. like he's not in favor of Trump. He already told his audience that God had picked Trump. So now he's got to come out here and go, kind of my bad. Turns out God didn't pick him. 
plus he's nuts. Um, and it's not just uh, Pat Robertson. Chris Christie came out today and he's like, he, he he's for the good of the country and for his own good, he's got to stop. It, like the, Sidney Powell has been at the White House the last three out of four days. Yeah. N- no it's one crazy. disputes that. No one disputes that Sidney Powell is crazy. Rudy Giuliani is now telling Trump, please stop inviting Sidney Powell to the White House. Like if, if it's embarrassing for Rudy, imagine how like record breaking embarrassing it is. Because Trump has actually lost his mind. He's But it's both things. Yes, he's scamming. He's raising all that money. We told you first $5,000 that anybody gives, 75% of it goes to a slush fund that they could take money out for their own personal use, not campaign, personal use. So he's raised a ton of money that he could just pocket. And and now he's they've got a new shell company. So he wants to milk that for all that he's got. And I think he's a little bit worried about getting caught on that too. And that will have significant legal repercussions. That's why he's thinking of pardoning himself and his kids, etc. So he is genuinely worried what's gonna happen if he loses power. And he's still trying to scam people out of money, which is Trump 101. But the other part of it is, I agree with Pat Robertson. I think Trump actually believes it. And, and so, both things are true. And Chris Christie's saying, look, I prepared him for the debates, both in 2016 and in 2020. I was his first former opponent to endorse him. We've been friends for 20 years, but he's got to stop this. It, it's, it, it, it's, it's just nuts. And I don't know that Chris Christie used the word nuts, but that's exactly where he was leading. And he's definitely saying, not good, not good for Trump, not good for the country. Now and I and I hope that this at least helps a little bit because remember they were all programming the right wing at the same time, right? Stolen, Smartmatic, the voting machines, the poll observers, the massive dumps, and all the crazy cracking. They're all the crazy things they were saying, right? Yep. So now when the couple of them in the cult go, nah, the cult leader is actually a little un. Unbalanced, you guys should back away from the room a little slowly. That's got to be, I hope, a good sign. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.